Well, good morning, everyone. Take your Bible to 1 Kings chapter number 10, verse number 9 for our Sunday morning recap. And I'm going to go ahead and admit to you that this is not a recap from my message on Sunday, but our assistant pastor, Pastor Jerry, uh, he preached this message on our testimony being born from obedience. And so I wanted to share with you kind of a uh, of a highlight from that and a takeaway that would be an encouragement to you. And like I said yesterday, Pastor Jerry reminded us uh, that, that what people hear of us can easily just be a rumor. I mean, they could hear the stories, but then when they come to check it out in person, they might find something very different. Or if they followed us around in the other times of our lives, they might realize that the rumors are just rumors that people only knew a couple of things about us and they manufactured the rest or the rest was just not true. And and so the only way we can assure, be assured that what people hear of us is true is for it to be born from obedience to God's word, truly living out the faith as we claim to believe. And so really a great truth. In fact, I think uh, earlier in the week, I had mentioned to our church family that the most important thing about you is your relationship with God. And so when your relationship with God is more hype than actual substance, well, then people find out that later on when your testimony is either based on obedience to what you claim or it's based on just a claim. And so, listen, when, when Solomon's testimony in, from, from 1 Kings 10, 9, when the Queen of, the Queen of Sheba came, um, she found out that not even half of what uh, was true was told to her. And she found out that there was more to his uh, testimony than what she even heard. And it was good. And that's important. In fact, let me read the verse to you that, that sticks out to me most. I think uh, this is the one that uh, Pastor Jerry, uh, he, he keyed into on Sunday was verse number nine, that she noticed that what was happening through Solomon could not be just human inspiration. It had to have an inspiration, a power, or a source to it that made it all that it was. And she zeroed in on it. Look at verse number nine in chapter number 10 of First Kings. It says this, it says, Blessed be the Lord thy God, which delighted in thee to set thee on the throne of Israel, because the Lord loved Israel forever. Therefore made he the king to, be, to do judgment and justice. So she's saying, the only, the only real, the only truth here that could, could make this so is that there's a God out there that loves Israel to put you on the throne and minister to the people through you. And so that, that's just amazing. And so she not only heard the, uh, the, a rumor about his, his, his leadership or his kingdom, but when she gets there, she realizes that it's double what, what she heard and that there was a source to it. It must be God. And so that, that this is, this is crazy. And so that, that's what people concluded about Peter and John in Acts uh, four thirteen, they concluded that they had been with Jesus. That was the only explanation for the, the 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 detail and the insight of their testimony about Jesus that they actually had been with him. They were eyewitnesses, and see that's what people should see from us that we have the testimony of having been with Jesus uh, that morning for our uh, throughout our lives, and so our testimony reflects that relationship to him. And I hope that's what they see in you. I hope that's what they see in me. And so let this be an encouragement to you that our testimony is, is hype if it's not born from obedience. Our testimony is real when it is born from an adherence and obedience to God's word. So let your week start that way. Be a, an adherer to God's word, not just a claim of obedience, but actually obeying the word of God. It's really easy to obey the parts we like. It's a lot harder to obey, obey the entire counsel of the word of God. And so let that be your testimony that you have been with God this morning. And that's what people see in your testimony throughout the day. Hope that helps. Enjoy a great start to a great week.